I'm good. I'm good. You. Good man. Yeah. So uh, just so you know, we uh, we had Sarah Kaufman on the line uh, just before break, and uh, Robin spent mm, the vast majority of the interview trying to score a date with her. That he's that, trying to go out to Vancouver and get laid. That is Victoria. not. And that is absolutely untrue, Patrick. <laughs> Be careful, man. She's tough, man. I know. She'd kill me. Um, she's, they're the same weight class. She's nine it's and a zero. Perfect and, match. Have you seen this girl fight? She's, yeah. She's, she's nine and badass. zero, and Robin's one and two. So it yeah. sounds like a really yeah, good matchup. Great. Thanks. Uh, how are you, man? I'm good. I'm good, man. How's your health? How's your knee? Uh, very good. Very good. Uh, actually, uh, I'll, I'll go, I'm going to be back in the uh, boxing gym in two weeks, so, uh, you know, I can't wait. Cool. That's good news. And how does that work for you for, uh, for rehab? What's your uh, date? What time are you aiming for to be back fighting again? Uh, I'll be back. Uh, I was supposed to be back in September, but uh, my doctor told me then uh, it's possible, but it's not smart at all. So uh, I'll be back in uh, probably in the middle of October. Uh, that's that's uh, smarter. So in October for sure I'll be back. Okay. So pretty soon you start. Uh, you have your manager start uh, telling Joe Silva to look for something for you in October. Well, uh, actually, we want the best fight as possible. I, I want a big fight right away. Uh, when I'll be back, I want a, I want a top fight. I want a top five or top ten guys. Uh, I want to, I want to get back in the action. You know, uh, I want to, I want to fight the best fight as, as possible. I want to be back at the on top as soon as possible. Is there anyone in particular that you'd like to be fighting next, based on current schedules and how things are working out? Uh, actually, no. You know that, like I said, uh, I, I, I don't care. I want to, I want to fight the best fighter than. It will be, uh, you know, it will be, uh, then I will be able to, to, to have, uh, you know, for sure, for my comeback, I, I hope they will give me, you know, a fighter like me. They want a fighter who like to exchange on his feet and uh, yeah. to give a good show for my comeback. So I hope that they're going to give me a, a somebody who's not going to, to be afraid to exchange. Yeah. So even... Um uh, for the first one back, you don't go hoping for, for uh, you know, a warm-up fight. If they get, offer you Nate Quarry, you'll take him and, and get in there? You know? Again, against Nate Quarry? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I know Nate Quarry. I respect him a lot. Uh, I already trained with him in Boston, and, uh, you know, the training was uh, really nice. And, uh, yeah, for sure, I hope. I think then if... Uh, if uh, Nate and, and me, uh, we fight together, that's going to be a, a hell of a fight for sure. Yeah, cool. That's cool. That'd yeah. be a good fight. Yeah, it would be a great fight. So um, with, with you know rehabbing the injury and stuff, how much weight do you gain and how, and how far out of shape do you feel when you just start coming back now? You don't, you don't want to know, man. Yeah. <laughs> no, we do want to know. So you're like 265 right now? <laughs> yeah. What? Oh, no, not that much. 210? I, you know, I'm 220, 225 right now. Yeah. Uh, for sure, you know, uh, I'm back in the in the gym, you know, for conditioning only for, uh, since three months, and uh, it's hard. It's hard, you know. Right now, it's summertime too, and uh, I'll be back only in, in October. So, but uh, I'll be uh, I'll be back in the boxing gym, like I said, in, in two or three weeks. So, uh, you know, it's like, that's not going to be a problem for me to to lose this this uh, yeah. this weight. You know, when I when I I'll be serious. I'll be in 210 in uh, two or three weeks, so it's good. So right now the training consists of patios? Yeah, sitting on a patio, having a cocktail. Did you get to do some of that when you were injured? Uh, and boat and uh, <laughs> yeah. wakeboard and surf. But I can't I can do really wakeboard, but uh, yeah. I do a lot of boats. Uh, I just bought a new boat, and uh, I enjoy a lot. Beautiful. That's cool. Now, Montreal is pretty famous for its women. How, how are you working out in that market? Have you got a girlfriend? Yeah, I got a girlfriend, and uh, I got the, the the most beautiful one. So I, I I'm out of the out of the market. So is, is she <laughs> is she sitting in the room with you right now when you said that? No, why did you say that? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You're just afraid she's gonna hear your stories later, aren't you? Yeah. Um, but uh, so you know, we want to ask you a little bit about uh, your last fight. You know, you're fighting for a title. You were. Uh, Go, go, at that time, going further than anyone had gone with the champion. Right. And uh, when when you felt that knee go, what did that feel like? Like what actually happened physically? Uh, actually, uh, I bust my knee in the middle of the second round yep. when I kicked him to the to the body. My leg went too far, and uh, you know I felt uh, I felt a pop in my knee. And uh, during the during the end of the second round, uh, my knee dislocated twice. 
And uh, between the second and the third round, I said to my to my coach that my knee was was done, you know. Yeah. And uh, he, he gave me a choice. He said, "Do you want to go? Do you want to go back, or do you want to, you know, throw a towel and it's done?" I said, "No, I'm going. I'm going to to fight again. You know, whatever happened will happen." So. Um, uh, when uh, when I tried to, he told me then just go inside and try to to box inside, dirty box, and uh, you know don't kick and uh, yes. try to go inside. Maybe use your wrestling and something like that. And uh, when I tried to go inside, I put all my weight on my back leg, and uh, then my knee just really uh, pop out, and uh, everything uh, everything just blow uh, blow out. Uh, yeah. You know my ACL, the cartilage, the both meniscus. So I didn't fall for nothing, you know. Yeah. So no. then I, I guess here's the next question: Was it worth it to do that? Because I'm sure your doctors were like, "Dude, you should have stopped in the second round as soon as you felt the knee pop or or hyperextend." Like, did you get that conversation with any doctors since then? Uh, yeah. You know, my doctor told me that. But anyway, you know, I, I my ACL was was uh was broke in the second round. So okay. you know, meniscus it's it's nothing to repair. Okay. You know, so the the big damage was already done yeah right, okay. that's a good point so that's i mean that's pretty courageous I know, and i i know you're you're like that you're going to do it anyway you're going to fight but you know a lot of guys like you know when they're injured that's it you know and i yeah. know you're fighting for the 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 title it's a dream it's a huge dream and you're fighting against you know which many consider to be the world's best pound for pound fighter and you you were taking it to him you weren't you know it wasn't, yeah. it wasn't like you were standing back like his last fight yeah you were coming out and you wanted to fight what what did you think of that in montreal what, what were your thoughts when you were watching that fight this uh his last fight with talus latest uh actually i was surprised because especially after that the performance then he gave against me i thought then uh, he wanted to to come back uh really strong and prove to everybody that he had a a, a bad night against me uh, but he did exactly the same thing. Maybe it was too much respect between two Brazilian. I don't know. But uh, that was uh, that was that wasn't beautiful at all. You know that was uh, really really bad. And uh, for the second time in a row, yeah. uh, Silva got some pretty big boos for uh, yeah yeah during the fight. So uh, two main event, two boos like that, two uh, very bad performance by him. So and uh, I was just. I did the French pay per view and Joe Silva was uh, just inside of me and uh, he was he was pissed. Yeah, eh? no doubt. Well, we were there. I saw you there that night. Um, and uh, the biggest, the only applause came when the screens had GSP's face up on it. <laughs> you know? Uh, yeah, that uh, was. No, that was that was that was strange. They, 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 the crowd was. Uh, was uh, screaming GSP and GSP, and at the end the crowd was uh, starting the chant of uh, Kote, Kote, yeah, Kote. So I heard that, that was pretty, pretty, uh, pretty uh, strange, but that was nice. I bet. So uh, how does that how does that work? You know, I know, and I know you're mentioning like his performance wasn't the greatest against you. How did you feel the fight was going up until your knee went? You know what I mean? Because uh, you know, you look back now, the confidence and his, must have been building. His, yeah, but I mean, his his performance wasn't that great. You were, you know, you were. Coming out, you were night. looking to fight. You yeah. were, you were, you were trying to take it to I him. Want, I want that to exchange. You know, this guy has uh, incredible footwork, for, so he's really, really hard to to catch. But you know, I felt, I felt good. I had fun, and uh, I, I, I received, you know, his best punch. I think so. He had shin right in, my, in the face and the knee, and I was still in the, the game. Uh, I wanted to exchange, and uh, you know, he wanted to playing around a little bit, but. Uh, you know, I, like I said, uh, I wasn't scared of him. And, you know, the game plan was to go in the third and fourth round and open more. You know, we knew then Anderson Silva hasn't seen uh, a, a third round since 2004. Yeah. So we were exactly where we wanted to be. And, uh, no, I felt good. And uh, just bad luck and bad time. Yeah, really was because there was no question you could have uh, walked away with the belt that night. And, and that must be tough. But you're, you're young and, and you feel like you'll have another shot, right? Uh, I don't know, but I will not have another shot right away for no. sure. Uh, I have to prove myself again, and uh, that's okay. You no know, business is business. Yeah. You know, I'll, I'll be I'll be out uh, when I'll be back. You know, that will be uh, one year after uh, after the, my last fight. So it's normal. You know, a lot of things yeah. uh, happen in uh, in uh, in one year. 
But uh, for sure, my plan is to run against the title shot again, and uh, I would like to fight Anderson Silva too again, uh, just to have a real decision this fight. Uh, yeah. You know, I think then it's uh, like unfinished business, and uh, you know, I love the fight, but he didn't beat me. Yeah. That's how I feel.